God, he's our healer. He's our doctor. He's our lawyer. He's everything we need. God is so good. But since I gave my life completely surrendered, I gave my life to him. And I, 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 be, I became saved, I think it was 1990. Ooh. I had this 1996-ish, I don't know, something like that. But I didn't completely surrender. Glory to God. Till April 7, 2020. Completely surrendered. When you completely surrender, then he'll show you. I'm 47 years old. He shows me from the time I was born. He even showed me through it. He's starting to let me peek into what I was, what we were before this time. God is so good. He will show you why you went through what you went through once you get over and to start doing his business. Step into kingdom, kingdom business. Give, give up the ways of the world because the ways of the world is going to lead you to death. That is what it's going to do. That's what's going to happen. And in these times, God is speaking. The heavens are open right now. God is here. He is pouring out his spirit upon us. All you got to do is open and be ready to receive him. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. God, glory to God. Glory to God. Get baptized. Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. You can't do it on your own. You have to allow the Holy Spirit to do this for you so that he can lead you. He can guide you. He can direct you. Oh, my God. God is so good. He is pouring out of his spirit in all of us. He is doing it so swiftly. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. The heavens are open. Come on. He said, seek him. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. He wants to give you so much. Hurry up. Hurry up. Come to him now. He said, come to him now. Why he can be found. He is here. All you gotta, he's not forcing himself on none of us. He's not, but he's putting it in us and he's allowing all these things to go wrong around us. He is trying to take us from the world so we can go to him and stay with him and allow his Holy Spirit to lead us and guide us and direct us so that we can know who he created us to be. We have a purpose. There is a purpose. We have gifts and talents that he birthed us with. We've been out here operating in our gifts and talents since we were born. We have just been developing them. But guess what? We've been developing them in the wrong way. We've been developing them in the ways of the world. So you get to use it. You may be a cook. You may be able to sew. You may be able to create things, whatever it is. But it's not going where it's supposed to go because you're still living worldly. You can't live worldly when you're a child of God. This does not belong to you. So you have to completely surrender your life. Give up your will for his will. Exchange it. I don't want the will for my life, Lord, no more. No, I don't want it. Who did you create me to be? And then he knows he's looking at the heart and your mind. He is checking. Are you doing this stuff? Do you really mean it? And then when he's coming down here and he's sending his spirit down here to check, he ain't got time. He ain't playing no more. He checking. He coming down and he checking the hearts and the mind. Let me see if they really want it. Let me see if she want it. Let me see if he really want it. Is he really talking about giving me, giving up his will for mine? Exchange it. Let me check. And if he check. He checking, and you ain't whole, and you don't mean it, and you mean it 99%, instead of that 100%, he ain't playing. He said, next, and he's moving to the next one. Quit playing with him. He said, quit playing with him. This is not the time. This is not the season. He is doing a new thing in the round, earthly realms. He is doing a new thing in you. This is the reason for all of this mess. We are responsible for our own salvation individually. Now, if you are a parent and you have children up under you, then they are up under you. You have to do it for them. You can curse your child. You can. We got to break these generational curses off of our children. You can curse your child because of your ways. And then you're, what are you doing? You're believing in doctors. He said, no, take all of that. Where's your faith? Come up higher in your faith. You got to trust in him. But because you don't trust in the Lord, he's going to place Doctors, of course, he appoints every person. He appoints these doctors to be there for people like you. People who don't go higher up in their faith. But you're still a child of God, so he placed that doctor there, and you may live and you may die. You'll know, so he said, let you go. Okay, my child, go ahead, over there. That's where you trust. That's how far you'll trust. You won't cut, You won't take your faith higher with me. So oh, go ahead. I'm going to let you go over there. You may live. You may die. So it's up to you. So me, I had that crazy faith. I don't go, I'll, I'll go get the doctor's report and I take it back to my heavenly father. And then he said, well, what do you think about it? And I 
I'm like, that's because I've been trained to hear his voice now. I now know who his voice, which one is his voice. I used to be troubled by whose voice am I hearing? Is it mine? Is it the devil? Is it, whose is it? Is it God? But now you don't ask, you have to ask. He said, you don't ask. You got to ask for it. What do you want? Ask for it. So when I asked, I said, Lord, I want to know how can I hear from your voice? I don't know if it's you or the devil or me. I don't know. I need to know. And guess what? I'm going to put my gloves back on because these gloves got power. These are my healing gloves. I'll talk about that too. But I want to hear your voice, Lord. How can I hear? And he said, you ask, so you shall receive. Because I asked, I was genuine about it. I was James got me. This got something to do with me and him now. So now he's listening. Now he's like, oh, well, okay. You want to know why? You want to hear my voice? Okay, let me, okay. Let me see if she really mean it. Yep, she do mean it. Okay, let's work on that. And so he worked on it. So now I can distinguish whose voice is in my head. And remember, the devil can only attack you through your brain. Don't think that there's devils walking. Yeah, devils, the spirits is in these people. <laughs> And here, and that's what's controlling them, and that, and their mind is the mind. I don't think it's a spit, like a spirit lingering. No, that thing, that spirit isn't that person. So we'll talk about that in another video. So, wow, I have a lot to say, and this was not even supposed to be here. This is one of my phones that don't have that much time on it. God is good. Thank you, Jesus. We have to get a relationship with Him, and He's doing this, and He's doing it at a swift. He's, he, he, he needs us ready for battle. That's what he said. He said, put on the full armor of the Lord so that you can be uh, protected. And you'll know when the devil comes so you'll be protected from the schemes of the devil. Put on the full armor of the Lord so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. So that when he comes, you already know. And God is, he, he going to lift up a, a standard against them and telling you, they ain't going to be able to do nothing. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. So stay focused on the Lord. Let him fix everything in you for you and your family so that you can be blessed. We are having a life after this life. Yes, there is eternal, eternal. So once our souls once our soul leaves our body, it does not die. It is going to live forever, either in heaven, forever, or hell. Forever. We get 120 years on earth. If you believe you can live 120 years, believe in that. Life and death is in the power of the tongue. So if you say, I can do this, I can do that, you can do it. Believe it. Your faith will take you there. And then it happens. So you have to believe it first in your mind. And then you speak those things as though they are. They become life. So when you speak negative things, I never say I have a headache. I never say, I'm. oh, I hurt. I, I stopped saying I used to. But the Lord delivered me from that. I now say, if, I, if there's a headache, you know what I say? I say, Lord, I don't claim anything. Don't claim that stuff. The doctor tell you something, you believe that stuff, that's what it is. Because now you two are in agreement with it. The Bible says that the word the two come in agreement, that's what it is. You two agree on it. So that's what it is. They say you got cancer, you got AIDS, and you agree on it. That's what it is. Not me. I reject what the doctor said. I go to the doctor, I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't know about that. I don't like this. But <laughs> I don't like this report, Lord. What can we do about this? And you tell me, what do you think about it? <laughs> and I, I think it's funny because I don't believe in this stuff. They're always saying something. You go over here, they say something. You go over there, they say something else. That's because they guessing. <laughs> Went to school for 10 years or more or less to guess the wrong thing. Look at you. Now you're dying. Not me. Come over here with the Lord and his kingdom. This school over here, it can happen overnight. <laughs> Glory to God, yes. And that's the type of faith you have to have. So that's the type of faith I have. I have crazy faith. Your faith is the one that's going to save you. You and your family. You can be the first one to break the generational curses. You can be the first to break that cycle. Let's stop it. Let's break it, whatever it is. You can, come on now, everybody, do it. Oh my God, we have the power. The Bible says we have the power. We have this power. We have the power of Killing. There are so many gifts we have, but we don't know how to even operate in them because we're worldly. 
Worldly gonna get you worldly things. And if you're gonna be thinking about yourself all the time, how you gonna gain? And God up there looking like that's a shame. This is this is the reason why for the pandemic. He loves us that much that he has sent his people. He's redoing a lot of stuff. A lot of pastors, he, he shut these churches in for a reason, so they can get it right. They're not preaching at all. Don't get me on saying, I said all, I did not say all, and I will never say all. This message does not apply to everyone. This applies to whoever it resonate with. And if it does resonate with your spirit, don't believe in me, take it up to our Heavenly Father in prayer and ask him, ask him, did what to, did what she said, did what she say, is that for me, Lord? And he will confirm it in the name of Jesus. He will confirm. So that's what he does. So he sends his prophets to warn his people, but his people don't want to listen because they're not here to tell them what they want to hear. His prophets are here to tell you what God says. We're not here to convict. That's not our job. We're here to correct. It's a big deal. We're not here to judge. So don't get the two mixed. I never judge anyone. That's why so many people feel so freely. I used to wonder, or, or, why people like to tell me they business all the time? It's been like this all my life. I never know why. Why they trust me with everything their whole life? I didn't know because I was living worldly. But now that I surrendered my life to him on April 7, 2020, he shows me his business. Now it's about his business. We still know these things in the world. We're not here to judge anyone. So now when we step into kingdom, he shows us how to fix this so we can help other people and bring them to him. Give him all the glory. We ain't taking credit for nothing. Don't thank me. Thank him. Thank him that I was obedient. You don't have to thank me at all. Uh, this is belong to the Lord. I don't want, I'm just telling, I'm just, obedience is better than sacrifice. Look at me looking crazy. I just wash my hair, my hair is soaking wet. But I love people. I love his people so much that I'm willing to speak his truth looking crazy as heck. Crazy. So on a Saturday afternoon, this was not planned, but he just spoke to, he, he confirmed to me over and over and over what he does with me. So I'm here to speak his truth. God is so good. We don't have a lot of time. It's just like Jesus. When Jesus left and he was with his disciples and he was like, Lord, what's going to happen when we leave? We don't want you to leave. They don't want him to leave. He's like, oh, don't worry, no trip. I'm going to send a comforter. My Holy Spirit going to come. He going to be here to guide you, lead you. But I must leave. I'm going to return to my father. So you're going to be with the father. Sitting at his right hand. So the Holy Spirit's here to help us, light, help us, lead us, guide us, direct us every day. We have to invite him every day. Holy Spirit, open yourself up to him. He's not a force. He's here. He's within. But you got to bring, liven him up, bring him up, bring him up. Don't push him in the back. Bring him to the front so he can guide you. And this is what he's here to do in this season. He is, his spirit is moving so heavily, heavily. Look at me. <laughs> Heavily in the earthly realms right now as we speak. It is December 4th, I believe it is. Saturday, I don't remember. It's still 2021. Yeah, see, I don't even remember dates, times anymore because the kingdom business requires time with God that don't work. It, you don't care about time and you still get to live your life. It's the way you use, I mean, you still get to do a lot of stuff you used to do. But He's going to clean it up. People think, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. No, you can't go smoke. I mean, we're going to talk about weed later. <laughs> no, you can't go out there stripping, going in the club, pimping women, being mean, physical violence, killing, murder, all that stuff against God. Anything against God is a sin. So anything against God is a sin. No sin is greater than the other. So he will show you how to get rid of all that. He'll clean you up. If you've been dancing, he's going to show you. Okay, yeah, I gave you that gift in the first place. So let me show you how to dance over here in the kingdom. You never know. You may be over here. 
I've been stretching and doing all kinds of stuff at 47. I ain't never did in my life. And I'm starting to move my body differently. And you know what moving my body is doing? And these weird ways that look like stripper ways. You know what it's doing? Healing my bones within 100%. But be I mean, better than that, he will restore you better than what it was when you step over here in the kingdom. How can you serve him sick? Not real being able to breathe. Limping. Out of breath. Can't talk right. He has caused me to be very emotional. I don't talk like this. I do and I don't. But he's very passionate in the season. He is angry with this generation. He is so angry. So I said, Lord, you want me to talk like that? I don't want to scare people away. He said, you're not. You're not going to scare them away. Some, the ones that's living in the sin and the ones that don't want correction, they want to stay in their ways. That is the stay in the world thing. Go over there. He said, them ain't your people. No, that, that, them ain't your people anyway. They're going to leave anyway. Don't worry about it. I'm going to show them away in a minute. So here he go. He's over here. He's going to fix that. He's going to take care of all of that. Keep your eyes focused on the prize. He's going to show you, though. Keep your eyes focused. So that's what he does. So I'm like, Lord, you don't have me talk like this? He said, yeah. He said, I said, that's, that's kind of angry. He said, yeah, because I'm angry. I said, whoa. But he told me this at the beginning of the year, but that was not the time to speak. But he has been using me because he told me about this pandemic before it happened. Well, not before it happened, around March. I can't remember. Between January and March, I have to look at the records. I have to pray about this. He going to show it to me because I don't know right now. But he showed it to me, and I've been posting about it. The thing is, I don't speak, and I haven't been speaking until now. I don't want to do this. I don't like being on video. I don't like talking to people because people don't like to listen. I like to talk to people who like to talk. <laughs> so, but I've been posting the memes, and he said, those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Some people listen, some people didn't. I'm like, Lord, they don't see this. He said, no, they don't. I said, whoa, they not seeing this? So, and Facebook, how am I have over, I know, he already told me, I have over 45,000 followers, but my stuff ain't getting out there because Facebook thinks they slick. The devil is on out on the prowl right now. He's trying to shut us down. He's trying to shut, he trying to shut us down, but he's already shown us that, but he's going to flip the script on them too. He, he letting all these evil ones go ahead. That's why all the prices is so expensive and, and, and nobody's going to work. He's doing this on purpose. The people not getting their shipments and deliveries on purpose. God is doing all of this. And look what they're doing, trying to jack up the prices. You know why? Because the last will be first and the first shall be last. He's going to put all these, they, all these people that's been ripping people off. He's going to shut them down too. He's going to shut them down. Look at them trying to charge all this. But you know what? He's going to get, he's going to be a, be a wealth transfer. He's going to transfer that money over to his Righteous ones, watch and see. He is doing a new thing in the earthly realms. He is doing a new thing in you. God is so good. This is the reason why all of this stuff is happening. But what we need to do is pick up our crosses and follow him. We got to show ourselves approved. We got to go to him. We got to go to him with fear and trembling. We have to. We have to. We must do this or else. It's you. It's your family. It's your children. It's your children's children. Yes, I am here telling you what you don't want to hear. But that's what we're not doing anymore. He's going to do away with the lukewarms. And he's about to expose the witches and the demons and the all the de minions, all this witchcraft, all of these. They're coming down. He is doing this on purpose. Hey, there's no God greater than the one we have above our Heavenly Father, Yeshua HaMashiach. Jesus Christ, watch. Proof is in the pudding. He said, keep your eyes. He said, those that have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Open your spiritual eyes and your spiritual ears. Pay attention. This is not be just because. This is a purpose. And for God, with God, there are no coincidences. Believe in the people that you send, these people that love you, say they love you. Whatever they showing you today, he's showing you this is how they, well, this is what they think about you. So whatever they showing you, this person, yeah, they could have been around for 5, 10, 15, 20, 30, 50 years. 
He said, whoever he is showing you they are today, that is who they are. He is doing, he's, he's doing a separation. He is showing you who his people are, the children of God, and the children of the devil. That simple. Children of God, children of it. Ain't no more confusion about the Israelite and all that. And he's not trying to confuse you. He is trying to make it simple and plain because he's tired of the way the world is being ran D backwards. No, uh-uh. This is not what he had for us. Don't you know we have to live like we living in heaven? Don't you know those that who are going to heaven? He, he, you, some of you sending yourselves to hell, to hell. But he is here to help you, and he's sending people. He is he is raising up new leaders in the body of Christ. New than that. You don't even hear about prophets because a lot of these churches don't tell you about prophets. And if a church doesn't have a true prophet, what's up with the pastor? Come on now. God just revealed to me about that too. So I'm going to be speaking about pastors versus prophets. Yes, he just spoke to me about that. I said, whoa, is that the reason why? Wow. So he is raising up new leaders. The ones, yeah, with tattoos. Yeah. New apostles, evangelists, apostles. Deacon, oh, I got the order wrong. I just found this out, like yesterday. Prophets. Prophetess. So a prophet is the male. The prophetess is the female. Evangelists. Apostles. Preachers. He is doing a new thing. Yes, to tell you how to live. Not to come get glory. Give me glory. Give me money. Uh-uh. Certainly, uh-uh. So you can go get that house. And I, while I'm over here struggling to survive, no. He said, get freely. Get freely. It's too much going on. I'm not saying that's it. There's more. But we prophesy in part. I'm here to speak what he is telling me to speak right now. So if you... If it resonated with your spirit, take it up with him. Don't shoot the messenger. Take it up to the Father, the one who sent it through the messenger. Amen? Praise God, and I'm out of here. So, God is doing so much, and I am going to be doing Oh, I can't wait to speak on these videos. Glory to God. Children of God, he loves us so much. He wants to show us how powerful he is. We got to put him first, put God first. Everything else will fall into place because you got to allow him to do it. We can't do it on our own because we don't always want to please our husbands or our wives or our mothers and our dads, but he'll do it in his order and everybody going to follow in the order. He'll work on you. He'll work on your children automatically. It comes with the territory. But if you have children that are adults, you pray for them if they they responsible for their own everybody responsible for their own and that's what he said come get it he said come get it because he's here he's doing it he's doing it. he said come get it you better come and get this god is calling his children home lost sheep get 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 real close and personal one-on-one -on -one. he wants to do it in you and your family he wants to heal you from cancer diseases all these diseases Every illness, your children who autism, ADD, ADHD, he wants to do all he's doing. God, by his stripes, you are healed. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. All you have to do is pray. You just look out of belief, repent. We must repent. Repent. Ask God to forgive us from all of our sins. And guess what? You don't know. We ain't going to remember all your sins. But he see wholeheartedly that you want to be forgiven. And then once you are saved, you are saved forever. And then all you got to do is keep allowing and believing and allowing his Holy Spirit to work on you all day, every day. Invite him before you get out of bed. Invite him in. Thank God for waking you up. Ask for more, 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 more. More wisdom, knowledge, understanding, discernment. Those who have discernment, if you have the gift of discernment, if you can prophesy, prophesy. We should all be prophesying. God is so good. He is doing such a good thing in these people and that everyone and all of us. He is doing the separation for a reason. So if you and your family, your husband, your wife are having problems, 
and it just came out of nowhere and it's just been like this since the pandemic has gotten worse. He's doing that on purpose and he's causing a division. He came to cause a division so we can separate the good from the bad. Good cannot, good, good cannot, we can't be unequally yoked. How can a good, how can a tree, a good tree bear bad fruit? It can't, can't, it can't. Bad tree, look at this, the bad tree, the bad tree over here trying to feed off of the good tree all the time. Look what happens to the good tree. It starts to die and withers and drain and here they come, trying to take your energy. Uh -uh, no, uh -uh. you're trying to cut that off. Uh -uh, you deserve better. You deserve everything that you've been desiring. Those are the desires he gave you anyway. He didn't, you didn't create it. God, it just, what he just showed me. Oh my God, thank you, Holy Spirit. He showed me just not too long ago, right before I turned on his video, that us females are born with that gift of, oh, I want to be loved. I want to be this. I want to be that. I want, I want to be treated this way. And here we go counterfeits look god already put it put it in us what we want we want to be a we want to be loved we want to have affection we want we want all of these different things which are good it feels good and here we go meeting the counterfeit that's the devil and we take it because they're gonna come in a form they're not gonna come and say here hey i'm here to i'm here to destroy you i'm here to cause you to your hair to fall out i'm here to take away your <laughs> Take away all your money, use you, take all your money. He ain't gonna come in that way. He gonna come in that, oh baby, listen, listen. It's the same thing with men, vice versa. Females do the same thing too. And yes, I said it with anger because it disgusts me how females are, but because we're worldly and the things that we start to think, it starts to linger. And what we believe in, we don't have a, another, that's another topic. Look at me. I'm telling you, there's so much. God is doing so much and he's downloading into us that are standing here with waiting on him don't waste it ain't wait it ain't time to wait he's not he waiting on you so when you go to him he is downloading in your spirit what you need to do what's because he got a plan for the devil and he want us to be suited and booted and ready how you gonna be ready when the devil comes huh how you gonna be ready you don't even have a plan now you wait looking for somebody to who got the plan who got the plan who got the plan and guess what they too busy over there fight, fighting the battle that they was already prepared for. And you don't. And now the devil won't take you out. Wow. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Wow. But us females, whoo, this is, whoo, God is so good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Look at God moving. Wow. I know I'm going to be doing all this. I'm crazy on the video. Look at me. He just confirmed to me in the garage that us females, we are born with these gifts. Like, it's a gift. It's just saying, this is how I want you to be treated. Look. I want this, I want that, and we don't look. And then we get the counterfeit, and then that's what they do. They gonna treat us the way we want to be treated in the beginning. And then guess what? Once they get us, ooh, ooh, get us, and now we think, I can't, look, stop telling these dudes, you the best thing that ever. <laughs> I'm laughing because I did it too. You the best thing, I can't breathe without it. <laughs> Men do it too, stop. As soon as you do that, now it's like, I got you now. Mm-hmm. Uh-uh. Wrong. And when you do that, they finna treat you a whole nother way. Now, they can do anything you want. They want to do to you. And all they gotta do is apologize and do something and do and give some flowers or do whatever you need, something you like for a little while. And then it, you know, it go away. And then they do go back and do the same thing. They just keep sinning and sinning and sleeping with your girlfriends and Home girls and sisters, and not saying this ain't never happened to me, thank the Lord. Not that I know of. <laughs> With your family, man. Oh, well, that did happen, but yeah, nasty people. So, and He will start to reveal them to you too. God will reveal all your enemies. And your enemies are some people in your family that hated on you. The ones that He was trying to tell you about, and you're like, no, but they family. Don't nobody get no pass. Mama, daddy, sister, brother, cousin, nephew, niece. Nobody get a pass. Your children do not get a pass or treating you no type of way. And don't make nobody think that you're responsible for taking care of a grown person. Take care of your own self. Take care of me. Get it the way I got it. Go get it the way the Lord. Because if you go to the Lord, he's going to show you. Why you sitting up here depending on somebody else? No. Forget that. That's too much weight. But he'll help you. How you gonna figure this out? You can't. So that's why you're stressed out. You gotta have a drink. You gotta get effed up. Wanna fight somebody? No.
that's not the business and kingdom. Step in the kingdom. He's going to fix all of that. I like a post I just posted the other day. And I said, I don't even know how I came across it. But he said he had to forgive somebody he was going to. He had to minister to someone that he was about to murder. God will do it. He will do it. You got to forgive your enemies. You got to love your enemies as you love yourself. Not saying, oh, I love you, love you. No, but see, the world, the world make you think that's impossible. You crazy. How can I love my enemy? Nah, that's what the world, look, you step over here with God and you pray about it. Lord, I know your word says we got to love our enemies as we love ourselves. I ain't cool with that, but uh, it's in your word. So uh, can you help me understand this right here? Because this dude tried to take me out, and I can't forget it. Uh, uh, you don't know what they did to me, or this person did this to me when I was a child. You don't know what they did to me. He's like, I do. I was there. Wow. He was there. You're supposed to go through that. There was a reason that happened. And this was supposed to help other people, too. He delivered you from it. And if he hasn't, he wants to. But you have to come over and allow him to do it. Stop going to see therapy. Somebody, I need to talk to somebody about this. Forget not. They're going to give you their opinions. No. Uh-uh. God want to do it. Yeah, for the time being, if you have to. But pray, Lord, send me somebody until I can hear clearly what you're trying to say. And then the next thing you know, he's hearing you and he's checking to see if you really mean this. If you mean it, he's dealing with you. If you don't, he's keeping it pushing. He's like this. This spirit come down here checking your heart and your mind. Where is it now? Is it pure? Is it wholehearted? Yes. Okay, let's go on. Go ahead. Holy Spirit, go ahead and work your fire right now. Go ahead. No. He's still searching. He still searching. He's everywhere. God everywhere. So he's still searching. But if you don't mean it, and then you pray, Lord, things ain't been happening to me. <laughs> I've been praying about it, but ain't nothing happened. He said, yeah. I searched your heart. And you, you, you wanted it for your glory. You wanted to get the glory out of it. Where was I at in it? You wasn't trying to do it for, for me. You was trying to gain. Oh, Lord, I, I promise I won't drink anymore. Get me out of this. Because you over the toilet. Bleh, bleh. About to feel like you about to throw up your guts. Yes, he caused that for a reason. And here you go calling on him. Lord, get me out of here. Uh, get me out. And he does. I'll never drink again. Look at that. You done made an agreement with the Lord. And he's like, okay, I'll take you up. But I know you're lying. <laughs> he loves you that much. He take you out of it. He know you lying. And here you go. Forget it. We're going to party again. And do the same old thing we did last week. But it. And it's worse. Can't play with God. But this is the type of people he bringing up in this season. Funny, God is the, who do you think created comedy? The king of comedy. Uh, they didn't make it up on their own. Now when they want to take this comedy in, and, and belittle someone and talk bad about that person and, and do and harm to them and with intent, that is dead. Okay, now you're using your gift that came from God in a worldly way, which is the devil. And he's like, I ain't gonna have no part of that. But he ain't gonna take your gift away. That's the thing. We're born with these gifts. He's gonna let you go. He's gonna, he gonna take yourself out of it. Go over here and use your gift that I gave you in the world with Satan. I don't do stuff like this. I don't hurt people. That's not me. Psh. Go ahead. You're going you gonna to reap what you sow. So, but you take that comedy and come over here and do it clean and make people laugh in a good way. Speak some truth in it, though. Just because you're correcting something in a joke, that's on you. It hurt. If it applied, then uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, but not sorry. But God is so good. Let me go because this video is about to end. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. This is what we're about to do. Glory to God. I'm going to be taking questions too. Amen. Praise God.